hi everyone it's Anne here from Positively Paper Craft. Now today I am back with a tutorial that I have done um, it was a few weeks ago now and it was a easel hat card with a matching gift box. Now this is just a quick makeup one that I've done because I had given the original one away and I've seen loads and loads of people making it but there was a few messages from people asking if I could possibly do it again in real time because I did it sped up and I did it with a voiceover. Now considering the amount of people I've made it I thought well it must be okay for the majority because so many have made it but then again I thought of another little idea so I am going to make the whole thing again and this time the box, this is again just a prototype, is going to be a little hat box to present it in which I thought would be much nicer. I did think about doing it the first time but if I'm truthful I hate making circular boxes <laughs> but I just thought this will be so much better. So for your hat I've already cut everything out. Now I'm sure you know how to get this kind of card. All you do is just get a piece of card. Mine happened to be A4. I scored it in the middle at five and seven eighths. And then just on the score line, you just cut it out, but you just put it slightly over the, the fold so that it won't just cut two circles, okay? So the circle that I have used for the card base should be five and a quarter. Yes, the cut lines, it's five and one quarter inches for the base. Then you need to cut another circle the same, so five and a quarter, okay? And then all we do with this is we take our circle card and we just fold, fold it in half. Okay, just give that a good burnish down so then you end up with this. Take this circle and we want to stick it on just the bottom half of the circle. So we'll do that now. Just glue on the bottom half. And then I'm going to take my extra circle and I am going to glue it on here. Okay. So now we have our easel card, okay? So the layers for the card, I have cut another circle. This one is four and a half inches. Then I've cut a one in patterned paper, which happens to be four inches. The circle for what the hat will be, the top of the hat, is two and three quarters. So I'm going to stick this circle on. Just try and get it in the middle if you can. Okay, and then this one will go over here, all right, just like this. Okay. 
So that is the basis of my hat card. Now, we have some pieces to score and I thought we might as well score them all together. This is going to make the hat. This measures <clears throat> nine and a half inches by two inches. We also need a piece for two pieces for our box and I'm a piece missing here but I'll sort that in a minute. Right so the actual hat box my card is three and a half inches wide and they're both 12 inches long. Now I don't think we'll need we'll need all of this but just in case because we'll have to join it together to make our hat box okay mine's slightly big I'm have to trim that but yeah so you need two pieces for your box which are three and a half by twelve you need a piece for your hat which is nine and a half by two we also need a piece for the lid for the hat but I don't know what I've done with it so I will sort that out in a minute so we're going to score these okay so your piece for the hat all you want to do is score the short side at half an inch and one and a half inches okay so that's what you should have the um the piece for the box we just need to score the short side at half an inch and do that on both pieces And I'll just quickly grab the piece for the hat, um, for the box lid, and I'll be straight back. All right, I've got the two pieces for the hat box lid. They are one and a half inches, again, by 12, but we may have to trim them a little bit. So both of these, you want to score them on the short side at one inch. All right, so that's all the little scoring fiddly pieces out the way. Now, what we are going to do to every one of these pieces we've scored. So this is going to be the hat and we've got two score lines on this. We've got one at either end. And then for example, um, this one which is going to be the hat box we've only got one so obviously we'll just fold it now what we're going to do with these is wherever we've got these score sections so on this one we have two so what we're going to do is all the way in the score sections we are just going to cut these kind of little triangles okay and this is obviously so we can attach it so it it bends with it having to be a circular box so just take your time and you basically want to just do this all the way along all the way along and wherever we've got a score section so this one we have one so we'll just do it along there these two we have one on each so we'll just do it on them and the other one we have one we'll just do it on there okay so just keep going and just keep doing that all the way along and on every piece that has this score section and this is the only one that has two the rest only have one so obviously you don't want to see me doing all these it'll take forever and it'll be boring so 
I will do it off camera and I'll be straight back when it's done. Okay, so I've done all of them. Now we are going to take the one that has two on, which is this one here, and this is going to be our hat base, okay? So I'm just kind of bend it round a little bit just to give it more of a shape and it's just going to basically go like that now what I do so I'm going to take the circle that's going to be the top of the hat and all I'm going to do is start gluing it all around the circle like that so I'll do a little bit with you and then <clears throat> I'll probably just get on with the rest because it takes a little bit for it to glue. You've just got to be patient, I suppose. So I am just going to place it on here. And then I am just going to start and bend it round the circle. Okay. Now you really want to glue that you know dries relatively quick because you don't want to be sitting holding it forever so the art glitter glue seems to work really well because it dries really quick and it's basically just a case of just going around and gluing all this on and then once you start and get so far around you know it will start to, to take shape Okay, so I think you get the idea and then these ones will just stick directly onto the base of the hat so I will get this all stuck around and then I'll be straight back all right so there we go there is my little hat top so I've got some ribbon as well and just a little matching bow and then we are going to pop our hat down on and glue it down in the middle so get some glue and I'm basically just going to cover all of these with glue It's just so adorable already. Absolutely love making this card. I think everybody else does. <laughs> right, so all that is sorted. Now I think we'll move straight on to the hat box and then we can decorate at the end. So we've got our two pieces here. Now Oh yes, I just quickly need to trim a little bit off mine for some reason. It's a little tiny piece longer than the other. So, 
what I found was normally I would score a piece when I'm going to join it but with these it's best it holds a more circular shape if you don't score them because I did with this hat box here and I found that when I score it it kind of starts to stick out but I didn't score that one I just joined it and it didn't so when you score it you kind of get this little pointy bit and I don't want that so all I'm going to do is just join these two pieces together all right like that so I've just put it along that much and I'm literally just going to join them together and I'm probably just overlapping it about half an inch maybe not even that and I find that works better than scoring them right so I've only overlapped it about three eighths of an inch it looks like to me okay and then again we might have to cut some off but that's okay so for the base of the hat I've got two circles here this is like a shimmer card and this is just normal um, patterned paper now this is going to be the base and then I am going to put this bit inside so when you look in the hat box we've got a nice piece of card in there now this happens to measure it is five and three quarter inches that's the size of the circle okay five and three quarter inches so I'm going to take the bottom what will be the bottom okay and I am just going to start doing exactly the same as what I did with the hat I'm just going to put some glue on probably four or five of the little tabs and then I am just going to start gluing it on and just go round and round until it's all done and obviously this will take a bit longer because it's bigger Okay, so you've just got to keep doing this and just trying to get it as even as you can and it can be a bit tricky but you will get there eventually okay so I think what I'll do is I am gonna glue this just keep going round I will be back when it's done okay everyone I'm back and I didn't get the video finished last night because I didn't feel too well so I've just decided to finish off this morning so I put the box together um, I stuck the circle in and all I did was I just glued some ribbon around the outside and then I punched two little holes in the side and I made just a little ribbon handle okay so I'm quite happy with that now making the lid of this I had already prepared the two pieces of paper and I don't know what I've done I must have put them in the bin because I can't find them and I haven't got any left so I've had to just make them out of pink card and um, it was two pieces remember which measured 12 by one and a half and it was scoring on the short side at half an inch <clears throat> on both of them and then cutting the little teeth I've just glued them together like we did with the box and I've already trimmed a little bit off because it was too long now this is going to be the tricky bit making the box the lid for this because it isn't the same as the last one I made the prototype I showed you for some reason that's come out a different size and I think it's all about when you glue these little teeth onto the circle if you just get them a little bit out of a line 
it makes a different size so the best thing for you to do to determine the lid is to take the two bits we've joined and remember that the teeth are going to be at the top because it's going to stick on that way and all you want to do really is just wrap it around your box and you don't want it to be too tight you just want it to be you know to be able to lift on and off comfortably now I think that would do me there so I'm just going to keep a hold of it and I'm going to take a pencil which I had once somewhere and I am just going to mark that with my pencil so I know that I've got to stick mine like this and then we can work out what size circle we can use for our lid because we may even have to trim the circle by hand because my circle dies don't layer really close together there's quite a decent gap because mine have this stitched part on them so we'll glue this together and then we're going to try it so this would be our lid for the hat box okay and yeah that would be a nice fit there all right so we need to now find a circle that will fit this now see this one in my opinion is too small because you've got little bits hanging over so this is where it's tricky because we need a one that is just a tiny bit bigger than it but I don't have that with these so what I think I'm gonna have to do is take this actual circle die that this cuts out as you can see there but then I'm going to have to draw around the outside of it and cut it out by hand and then it should fit which I knew this would happen unless you've got circles which layer up you know only by one eighth of an inch or something and mine don't so I can use that bit for the inside that will layer in there so yeah it helps as well if you can stick an inside piece on because then it helps you there makes this more rigid so I'm going to glue that bit in there first now I haven't got any of that card left so I may just have to make my um, lid pink and then I could just put that on the top so if you just bear with us and we'll get some pink card all right, so I've got the pink card and I've got the circle and the diameter of the circle, not the cutting edge, is six inches. So you need something six inches to be able to fit your lid. So I'm turning it over and I'm going to have to just basically hand cut this out. Alright, and you've just got to just take your time basically. I mean, there isn't really else a lot we can do when we're doing these kind of boxes unless you have specific dies which come with, you know, for that purpose of a base and a lid. So there we go we've got a six inch circle now hopefully this should fit now even if it is a tiny little bit big we can just trim around the sides of it when it's all glued on so that isn't too bad so i am going to glue this on and i'll be back okay so i have got the uh, the, the lid made now when i stuck it on it was a bit too big still and it was hanging over so all I did 
was I just tipped it upside down and I just trimmed it round. So if you can't find a circle which is six inches, what you could just do is find a one that's bigger, stick it on to these to the, the frame piece like I did and then just cut round it. That's another way you could do it. And then I've just stuck one of those <coughs> layering pieces on the top now. I'm just a bit good at I've had to make a different colour because I didn't have any of this paper left. So let's see if it fits. It better fit. Yeah, it does. And it doesn't look too bad in different colours. But yeah, there's our little hat box for our hat card. So all I've got to do is decorate the top and I've got to decorate the hat. Um, on the back I've just put a bit of white card and then I have got some I want to put this little piece on there on the inside and this one the same as the back piece is four and a half inches so I am going to glue that in there and then I've just got like a little a sentiment like stopper to put on For when it stays open like that. So, putting that away for, I want to decorate the hat and I want to decorate the lid of the box. So, I used these last time. I've just got a selection of little foam roses, a few paper ones, and then I've just die cut some little leaves and little um, greenery pieces. I've used a couple of dies for that. This is tattered lace and these ones are from Alina Crafts. So I think I will just <clears throat> decorate these up and probably just speed it up as I do it. And I've got my little trusty hot glue gun I love this glue gun and I'm just gonna kind of decide where I want them Okay, so there we go. I think I will leave it at that. And what I've got as well is I have some of this pink tulle and I've just cut like a couple of strips of it off and just kind of sort of randomly just folded it like this and I'm going to just stuff it in the box. Just any old way to be honest. And then I thought it would be nice if the hat just kind of sat on top of the tool. So it just makes it look pretty and it also elevates it up into the box. And then we've got our pretty little lid on our little hat box to go on. And there we go. I think that would be an absolutely beautiful Mother's Day gift like a Mother's Day card um, <clears throat> but yeah 
absolutely love that and it's been such a popular card I've seen so many people make it as well so I've just got my little stopper sentiment to add on and I'm not quite sure what I want to make it yet so I think I will leave that for now but I do have the other video as well which you can see I have put it on in there um, you can obviously have it for any occasion but I might make this a Mother's Day one so I hope you've enjoyed this slowed down version and also a different idea for the box now if you don't want to make this circular box the other tutorial has the square box so I'll link that as well just in case you haven't seen it so yeah I'm quite happy with how that's turned out that's beautiful so all the info will be on my blog which you can find under this video so thanks for watching take care and bye for now